Hello, I'm Luca Torix and welcome to part 20 of my Scythia campaign on Rome Total War. Now, I want to do a little bit of explaining just before we start this episode. So first of all, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a Scythia campaign video. And as I explained a couple of videos ago, I had exams, so on and so forth. And also, we just took a little bit of a break from the Scythia campaign. But I did actually record a video before my exams, but unfortunately the footage got corrupted. It happens very, very rarely. These things happen. So, there we go. Not a huge amount happened. You might see a few changes on the map, which you I'll run through in a second, but I'll sort of update you with the overall situation. We're doing actually relatively well on a city campaign. Let's have a look at how many settlements. So, we have 31 regions controlled, and we are sweeping through Turkey and Central Europe, so that should get up to 50 pretty soon, I would hope, uh, which is very, very good. And, uh, yeah, so I'll basically just fill you in on what's happening. So, we moved from Vicus Gothi, and we're moving this army of Silurus, one of many Silurus, big army, um, towards, I believe, we're going for Bordesholm first, because, well, we could go for this army of Carolus, to be fair, as we are very strong. Um, we could do that. We could well do that, actually. Um, or we have Bartavodrum there. I think we should just take Bordesholm, Bartavodrum, and... Mon Montogiacum, or whatever it's called. I probably butchered that. And then we can focus on this little force here, finish off the Germanians for good. So that's the situation over here. And as you can also see, we have this little slice of Central Europe, as you of them. But the Julii, well, the Julii are around, and they are they have besieged Segestica, which has basically nothing inside, and we don't really have a plan. There's very little force in this region. Very little force. But I do have a sort of general plan to deal with the Julii, which we'll talk about in a minute. This army is coming to get Salona back. I believe we lost Salona in the last episode, and it is Julii. But they moved out of Salona, moved north towards Agestica. Now that place is messed up. But hopefully, Waradsin, he will move up from Salona and deal with the Julii up here. Hopefully. So that's the situation there. And then we also took Sinope, which isn't happy at the moment. Um, but we are hopefully doing stuff. We don't seem to be doing anything, so uh, yeah, get a get a sacred shrove in, why not? That sounds good indeed. And then, yeah, and then the army from Sinope is moving down further south to Mazakar, which is also undefended. The Pontic force looks pretty weak, as far as I'm concerned. Pergamum, well, the, the port is um, blockaded, but there we go. We do have a strong army here, and we have an army outside Halicarnassus of Philippos. Now, can we attack Halicarnassus now? Let's have a look. So Halicarnassus has got a decent force outside. We can take Halicarnassus now, so we can do that in a second. We actually can take quite a few settlements early on in this episode. Another settlement that we are near is Capua, as you can see over here. Magies, we defended Croton, uh, sorry, Tarentum successfully. We have moved out towards Capua, and we can now fight Captain Servius and this general force around here. A good victory means that Capua could be in our hands. This guy up here, another Silurus. Now, we have another Silurus up here. Where should he go? I think he's needed in Central Europe. So just start progressing along this way, please. Yeah, you are you are needed in Central Europe. Any good mercenaries? Nope. Of course not. Okay. Central European mercenaries are pretty trash. Uh, as you are probably aware. In fact, talking of mercenaries, I have got a plan to make a mercenary guide very soon. Because I feel like I'm a bit of an expert on mercenaries if you watch my mercenary campaign. So you can expect that to be coming very, very soon. As for the islands in this region, we have Cadonia, we don't have Rhodes, so that'll be a target pretty soon as well. But yeah, I think we can start off this episode. So, Mazakar, we can't take that now, can we? No. So, Mazakar, we can take next turn. Decent force outside, no way the Pontics can deal with that. We have Tarsus, that is a little bit stronger, however, and is actually Celestid, not Pontic. And we also have, yep, the Pontic segment of Ansira, which should be relatively easy to, to take, I hope. So I think we should start off by focusing on Halicarnassus. So let's attack Halicarnassus and have a look and see what they've got. Interestingly, I just saw while it was loading up that the Pontic Force and the Seleucids of Sardis are fighting. Hopefully they can weaken each other so that we can sw uh, swipe in, sweep in rather, on Sardis very, very soon. So we have Philippos against Captain Polyocrates. Sounds like a cool name, probably said it wrong. Anyway, so Philippos, a sort of general, this is slightly a more melee army than we're used to. We're used to just having a ton of horse archers, but actually for a city siege, having axemen and um, Thracians, yeah, Thracians, 
actually quite a good thing to have. So Captain Polyocrates, what does he have? He has Rhodian Sling is decent, Hot Plight's decent, Cretan Archer's good, Militia Hot Plight's are trash, Peltas won't do a lot, Militia Hot Plight's won't do a lot either. So it's okay, but again, Militia Hot Plight's there in Phalanx, so we'll be we'll be wary. But we have a lot of missile fire, we should be fine. Let's see what we can do against Halicarnassus. Nassus. Right, so here they are. It literally is a wooden wooden palisade, which isn't exactly the strongest of defences. Pretty cool that um, these guys, the mercenary Peltas, are blending in with the grass. I do quite like that indeed. Although, they can probably see the rest of the orange coloured army. So, really that's a bit pointless. But, yeah, I always thought it was odd about Scythia. I love the orange of Scythia, but... I suppose, it, actually, the land is kind of orangey, but in other areas it really does stand out. Not so much in the desert, but in snowy regions, it certainly does. But anyway... I'm not here to critique the fashion of the Scythians, I'm here to fight a war. So we have two rams, held by Thracian mercenaries and axemen, sounds good to me. So we'll have them here and here. The, yeah, they can go towards the walls and the door. Like so. What we'll have, we'll have the horse archers. We only have three horse archers, very interesting actually. We'll have the horse archers and peltasts, sorry, not you guys. Horse archers and peltasts in a group, because they can line up on the outskirts of the wall, fire over the wall, and hopefully do a little bit of damage. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice for sure. The rest of the guys can just follow up later. So start the battle. You over here, you over here. And then the missile troops go in a nice line, like... Mm, don't want to go in the tower fire. Go... Let's try and work out how to... Hopefully nobody gets hit by tower fire, missile fire like that. Uh, they do look like a little bit vulnerable. How about... Well, we'll see how they do like that. We'll have a look in a second. Oh, they're going hard on the ram. Just saw that. Uh, the Cretans. That'll be the Cretans. So one of the rams might be destroyed. Not the end of the world, though. Uh, we can start firing on the hot plight. So it's actually, stop firing on the Cretans. They're annoying. Stop firing on the Cretans, lads. The Cretans are doing a little bit of damage here. Yeah, one of the Axeman units... This one is suffering a bit, but the Cretans will soon run out. Well, they won't soon run out of arrows. They actually have got a decent amount, but, you know, we'll see. Right. You guys, just try and hit anything you can without getting hit yourself. Would be nice. You can. They can fire over the walls. They should be able to, so that's all good. How many kills have we got? 8%. So we've already got 8%, which is pretty good, just from literally firing on the outside. Right, so the door has opened. This gate, uh, is the ram destroyed? No, it's just not really doing much. Oh, I think... Nope, there we go. There we go. Good. You can see the arrow fire on those hot plates. They're suffering. We might as well stay outside and just do as much damage from out here as we can before we actually go within. So these guys are all firing. The Illyrians aren't firing, but they can... Ah, they run out of missiles, that's why. So really, you're pretty much useless now. So you can come back. You, you're getting a little bit hit, but isn't a lot we can do. It's Rhodian Slingers. To be fair, we could just go straight for the Rhodian Slingers. 68 Rhodian Slingers against 57 Thracian Mercenaries. I like our odds on that one, I think. Although we're being very slow about it, and actually they're doing a good amount of damage. So maybe not, actually. The Thracians might sacrifice themselves here, because they are really getting hit by the Slingers. That was maybe a bad call from me, actually, but uh, you live and you learn, that's fine. Right, horsemen, they're firing on the hoplites, which is good. And how is the balance of power going? 8% to 40%, I will take that. I'll take that, it's, you know, we can always repair the losses, it's not the end of the world. So, yeah, these Thracians aren't going to do, they aren't going to survive. The Rhodian slings are decent in the melee. 26 Thracians should not do a good job against 60 Rhodians. Yep, there we go. Fine. Uh, not the end of the world. We will we will live. Live and learn. That's fine by me. But these guys are firing on the hot plates. Again, we'll do as much damage from the outside as we can. There's no point. There's no point going inside the city until we've done as much damage from outside the walls. Okay, the Rodians are down to basically nothing. The hot plates still have a little bit left. We have some we have some more arrows, so we're just gonna We're gonna keep firing, why not? Their captain, Captain Polyocrates, he is dead. He was actually a Rodian slinger, interestingly. Okay, a bit further on, 76% have been killed, and we haven't even, actually, technically, we have stepped inside the city, but we basically haven't. Only one unit stepped inside the city, and we have killed three quarters of their army, which is good. But we are starting to run out of arrows, which is a little bit of an issue. Okay, so these two um, Scythians are useless now. They've run out of arrows, so they can go back. 
you've done your duty. You guys, just step a little bit close to the gate so you can get as many hits in as you can. Fire in on those hot plates, please. Right, so they have run out of missiles. Fair enough. They have done their job as well. So the Scythian horse archers are now completely useless. They can go to the back. We have killed 84% at the cost of 11%. I'll take that every day of the week. But now we have a slight issue, which is they're going to camp out in the plaza with their hoplites, and we only have cavalry. Now, we do have two axemen, but against phalanx, I don't really fancy their chances. I don't know how many proper hoplites we've killed. We've killed a lot of militia hoplites, but proper hoplites, well, that's a little bit different, you know. So, what we'll do is get these two axemen over here, get them inside the city. The hence hunting maidens are like cavalry. They're not going to do anything to um, axemen. We have Scythian Note, I mean, rear, um, Axemen, sorry, to Phalanx. To be honest, Cavalry, of course, are not suitable for fighting Axemen. Right, these are just Militia Hoplites, so the Axemen can deal with them every day. Every day they can deal with them, in fact. Right, now let's see what is actually on the plaza. It looks like proper Hoplites. That's pretty much it. It's a unit of proper Hoplites. Now, the way to deal with a, a unit of Phalanx, a single unit of Phalanx, is to surround them from different directions, but it looks as if there's only that way to get to the plaza, unless I'm mistaken, um, which is slightly concerning. Right, Axemen. Okay, what we'll do, one unit of Axemen go over here for a second. Can you access the plaza from this side? Hopefully, you yes, you can. I can see they are moving. So the Axemen move around this side. Um, we'll have the Scythian Nobles over here, and we'll have the Headhunting Maidens over here. So we're going to hit them from two angles. Hopefully that works. Let's see. Okay, we do have a unit of Hoplites who want to play. Uh, ten. Ten Militia Hoplites shouldn't do a good job against these 68 Axemen anyway, just because there's not enough of them. So I'm not too concerned by that, to be honest. And then other than that, yeah, literally it's just one unit of depleted Hoplites as well. So... Yeah, they routed before they could even get to us. Good, good, good. Okay, so what do we have over here? What's going on? We have... I swear everyone just went over... They, they didn't do what they were told, did they? Right, you come over here like you were told to do in the first place. They just, <laughs> they just decided, nah, not going to do what I'm told. It's alright. Okay, guys, just creep over here slightly. Not, not you, you see... Okay, that's fine. He's moving over there. Good, right, so we have... Two sets of troops on two different sides, which is excellent. We will engage with the Axemen and then hit with everyone else. Should be fine. So just creep over here. Don't actually step on the plaza, though. That could cause trouble. Right, so I want the two units of Axemen to engage first. They're actually... Notice this, they're pointing their spears in that direction. That's the only direction you do not point your spears in that direction where there are just buildings oh well I mean they're literally making it easy for me aren't they but come on lads hit them hit them in the back right while they're getting their spears up get the cavalry in as well is, is this unit just glitched no nope, they, they haven't glitched they are actually moving this way fine right cavalry right stop stop cavalry get around here don't go into the spears don't go into the spears ah okay do what you're told do what you're told to be fair I think they are pretty much dying yeah the spears are up they're screwed they're screwed anyway, so yeah, very good job. Uh, we've dealt with the rebels pretty well here. I say that, like they are probably killing quite a few cavalrymen. But uh, that they they are pretty much dispensable, it's fine. They are getting absolutely swarmed, which is what you've got to do with phalanx, hit them from every side. They're screwed. There we go. So how many right, clear victory, 512 kills to 108 kills. So very good stuff. The testament of Halicarnassus is ours. We are starting to make a good sort of stronghold in southern Turkey as well, as well as northern Turkey, of course. And here we are, we should be taking it now. Good, right. I noticed people unhappy, just exterminate them, I haven't really got the time. Right. Wonder captured, of course, Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, reduces building construction time by 20% on buildings that take five or more turns to build anyway. So, yep, that is, that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a pretty cool thing indeed. So, we'll repair the walls, obviously. And we'll construct roads because they, they haven't even put roads in. Like that's just that's just bad, to be honest. Um, you can't repair anyone because, well, yeah, reasons. We're gonna wait for Sardis to be attacked by the 
Pontic Force just because you know they can sort of annihilate each other. Let's have a look at Rhodes quickly because Rhodes looks pretty weak. We have yeah no army on this boat here, and then Rhodes itself has literally one general, Memnon of Sparta, someone I've come across before definitely. In which case, unless they're hiding anyone, really we should think about getting a ship down here. Right, you're pretty useless, aren't you, this ship? Well, just come down here for a second. Maybe you can transport the troops next turn. We haven't got a port in... Oh, no, we do have a port in Halicarnassus. No? Nope, that's uh, that's not us. Okay. Fine, well, yeah, that's the situation, really. We'll get those buildings in construction as well. And we'll recruit a peasant just for happiness, because we're going to be moving these troops out pretty soon. So, that's the situation there. Very, very good. Let's have a look elsewhere. So that, that's a you know solid start to the episode, I would say indeed. Mazakar, as I said, I can't really do anything about. I think it's time to face the Scipii. Now, the Scipii, we have Madiez, and he is going to attack Captain Servius. And there's three armies, I believe. Let's have a look. It loads. Right, so Madiez is against Captain Servius, Captain Asinius, and Juliana Scipio. Captain Servius has three Ballistae, which... Could do a bit of damage to, you know, particularly horse archers who don't have any defense. Wellites, they aren't really a threat. Astarte and Princapes are decent. Captain Sinius, these two again. And then Juliana Scipio himself, another general and a bunch of sort of depleted troops. Well, it's not going to be easy, to be fair. But I reckon we can do a bit of damage. So let's see what we can do against Captain Servius. Really, it's Juliana Scipio and his crew. I think we can do a bit of damage even if we don't win we can certainly deplete the Scipii and then they probably still have quite a few more settlements to be fair but we'll take that as it comes whatever we need to start advancing up through Italy. Right so let's start the deployment it's pretty simple the old formation we'll just get the non missile troops over here the melee troops I believe they are called uh, technical term we'll get all of you guys in a group minus you all of you guys in the group just go in a nice sort of long line kind of like you are to be honest that's absolutely fine and then what we'll do we'll have um, honestly the hoplites aren't these guys aren't going to be needed so what I'll do I'll just get the hoplites to protect the axemen and the samnites but honestly they're not going to be a part of this battle at all they can just defend their position that's fine. And we'll have the general sort of shadowing these guys over here. Okay, so start the battle. You guys need to move forward. Oh, it's uh, lagging a bit as it's loading all the armies. It's calmed down now. There's a Scipii army right here. So we'll start advancing towards them with speed, hitting them in all directions with arrows. They shouldn't have a very good time. We could skirmish around them, so that's good. The general can come over here. I want him to pick off the ballista, particularly. Come on, I'm telling you to sprint. There we go. So where are the ballista? They should be. Yeah, they're at the back. So I want him to deal with the ballista. Madiez can do that. So yeah, the Scythian horse archers, they're distracting these Hastati and whatever. While the general does the, the job of killing the ballistas. Absolutely good stuff there. Get them down. Ballistas are probably stronger than you'd think they are. Um, the actual men that control them. But uh, it should be fine. We have a general... He should do his job. Admittedly, not the best angle to attack. Um, they're wavering. Broken. Good. Quickly go on to the next guys. On to the next guys before you get hit by any more. I do want to wipe these guys out to the last man. I'm saying this. I think he got a couple of them, but... Okay, steady. Shaken. Go on. Get him down, lads. Get him down. Shaken. Not quite broken yet. My goodness, these guys are strong. I said that they were strong. Okay, more stuff's coming in. I think it is only Cabri Auxilia, to be fair. They're going to struggle. But we are kind of getting a bit surrounded here. Not ideal. Especially with Princapes in the back here. Just get on the blisters and get them down. The general's taking hits. Major hits. Okay, okay. Get out of there. Get out of there. I don't care about the Cabri Auxilia. They can... They can hitters all day, they won't do a good job at all, I just want to get these blisters down, it's so important, we do, took far too many losses there, it's a bit harsh of the game in my opinion, and I don't even know what's happened to the blisters, get them down, like why are they still steady, ridiculous, oh we've just wasted a ton of general's bodyguard, 
but I'm determined to get these blisters down. They're shaken, broken, good. Right, get out of there now, get out of there. Well, I mean, how did Cavalry Auxilia do that much damage? Really? <laughs> Odd. Okay, fair enough. You just retreat behind this line. Like so. Yeah, there we go. Right, you guys don't really seem to be doing a lot. Is this me? Right, not you. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, just you guys. Start moving around here. Skirmish quickly. Do your thing. Right, so we sort of flank them here. We're trying to hit as many of them as we can. How are we doing so far? 7% to 24%. It's going pretty well, to be fair. Um, Cavalry Auxilia could cause a bit of trouble just because they're fast. But we need to get that general down. He's the main problem, to be honest. Get the general down, I'll be happy. Was it Julianus? Odd that a Scipio general is called Julianus. I don't know. I, don't know. I just would have. I know it is a Roman name, but. You would have thought it would be part of the Julii, but whatever. Juliana Scipio. There seems to be another general there. I missed him. Oh, yeah, there are two generals. Absolutely, there are two generals. I forgot about this. Right, the, the battle's been spread over a large area, something that is sort of synonymous with playing a Scythia. But we have a huge amount of missile fire, which we can focus right on these generals. Hopefully, he should die as a result. That would be great. I mean, he's going to go down, hopefully, thanks to all this missile fire. If he engages any single unit in melee, though, they are absolutely screwed. There's no two ways about that. How's it going overall? 11% uh, to 31%. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right, this unit, focus on these Prinkipes. In fact, you guys, group up. Start advancing towards here. That'd be really cool if you could do that. Right, the battle has spread out a lot. You... Start hitting on these guys. Alright, what's going on? Some of the units have suffered, but... Is that a general down? Or is that only a captain? It's Juliana Scipio. It's Juliana Scipio. He is down. Right, okay. A couple of units are suffering, though. Uh, you have... Well, you're screwed. If you've got a Roman general that's killing you, you're absolutely screwed. Um, but it's alright. You'll, you'll live. Well, you won't live, but <laughs> I'll live anyway. And that's what's important. I can live with that. Right, excellent. We need to start getting this. If we can get both generals down, then even if we lose the battle overall, I'll still be very happy. Two generals down, that's great stuff. That's really great stuff indeed. But we need to get this guy down. He's shaken. He's wavering. Can we get him down? Can we? No, he's gone back to steady. This is the strength of the Roman general. He he will... Oh, he's back to wavering. He is... Oh, he's on the cusp of, of breaking, but he hasn't quite yet. Because if he breaks, yeah, if he breaks, we can engage him in the melee because he can't fight back. And we are fast than him, he should. Ah, oh, but the Prinkipes are going to screw it up, aren't they? I want you to get that general down. Please. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, a couple of units go around here. Oh, now these guys aren't in skirmish mode. Okay, stop. In skirmish mode. In skirmish mode, in skirmish mode, in skirmish mode. Come on. Ah, oh, that was a bit of a, that was a bit of a shame. Okay, where's the general? He might be getting away, the little bastard. You, you do as I say. Come over here. I'm gonna disable skirmish mode for a second. I want him. I think that general's gonna get away. You know that one general. Ah, oh, God, it pains me every time that happens. The general, or it's always just the one general that survives out of a whole unit. Absolute bastard. Okay, but the general is down. Their morale should be suffering. You're meant to be skirmishing, you're not doing a very good job. Because you're... Idiots. 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 Get out of there. Get out. You're meant to be skirmishing. Come on, lads. Come on, you know better than that. Right. What's going on? These guys are being absolutely swarmed. Well, as... Uh, whatever. We'll live with that. Just... Just attack them. Just attack. Get your war cry going or whatever. That's fine. How's it going overall? Let's pause for a second. Okay. 30% to 48%, and they had more men than us, so actually, in raw figures, we should be doing a pretty good job um, in terms of the actual numbers killed, which is good, but we've killed one of their generals, but uh, it's just slightly annoying how this is, how we couldn't kill the other one, but there we go. All of you guys, focus on these Welletes, they're weak. You should be able to get them down. You should all be on skirmish mode. All of you should be on skirmish mode. Let's double check that. Yeah, they're not all on skirmish mode. Come on. Right, this one wasn't able to catch the general, was he? Nope. 
Okay, unlucky, mate. Right, just get around here, get those weather tests. I think we're doing a decent job. I think we might actually win this. I, I don't, you know, I really don't want to lose this battle. But some, there are quite a few routing Romans, which means that they'll be able to get away back into the city of Capua, which is a slight issue, but we'll live with it. It's not the worst problem to have ever. We are starting to run out of missiles, however. That is a bad problem. Let's get the Prinkapes down. Prinkapes are stronger than these Wellites, so, yeah, absolutely do that. So the Prinkapes are taking a lot of fire, trying to protect themselves with the shield and by throwing Peeler, but they are wavering. But they have not broken. If they break, we can get them. Yep, yeah, get them down. Get them down. They will, they will suffer. Right, you, you're hitting these guys. Excellent stuff. So the Prink Pez, they are down. They will not bother us again. Excellent stuff. Yep, they're down to the last man. Good. Okay. Let's go on to these Wellites. I think the balance of power is slightly on our side. Problem is this army is coming in now. Strong units of starting and Prink Pez. I think that's all it was though. So, it could kind of go down to the last man. It's not too much of a deal though. No guys, on skirmish mode. Sorry, on skirmish mode. They are shaken. They are shaken in their Wellites. Come on, surely. Surely we can just cause a break. Yep, yeah, breaking. Yep, yeah, breaking. That's not a word, but uh, oh well, we'll take it. That's good. All right, we're not going to be able to melee these guys at all. Right, what's going on over here? Oh, somebody's dead. I think it was one of the captains, however. Uh, Captain Servius. Yeah. All right. So Sidian horse archers. Right, this unit is routing good. Well, get those Prinkapes down, definitely. You guys, just uh, don't bother about that one unit for start. Instead, get these Prinkapes down. I think it is slightly in our favour. But we've run out of missiles. It's the only problem. These Hoplites have done brilliantly, by the way. Really, really well. Um, that is for sure. Right, these guys are doing absolutely nothing. The problem is you've run out of missiles. Can't deal with the start. Get, get over here and deal with these Ballista. And run was the order. Get these blister down. I sac I nearly sacrificed my generals to get these blister down. And they're still around, which is very annoying. So just get them down, lads. In the melee, just get them down. I should be able to. There's like, what, 16 of them against probably 200 cavalry? Some of you some of you go for the second unit. Okay, they're broken. Both broken. Good, 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 good. Get them down. Get them down. Don't want to see those blister ever again. In fact... Yeah, it is slightly in our favour. It's just the last two units. I'm not sure how we're going to get rid of them. They're both eager. Yeah, they're both eager. It's an issue. Right, the general is fighting somebody. Who is he fighting? Oh, okay, it's literally just that. What is it? A couple of Astarte. Yeah, you can do that. As long as you're not fighting anything extremely difficult. Right, what are you doing? You, so, the units that still have missiles are you five. I want you five. All two. Skirmish, obviously, you should be on skirmish mode anyway. Focus on these Prinkapes. Focus on these Prinkapes, absolutely. All of you should be on skirmish mode, like I said. And running. Like, why are you not skirmishing? Why are these guys not skirmishing? Can somebody can somebody tell me why those guys are just not doing what they're told? Run out of there. No, it's going to break. Like, they should have skirmished. Skirmishing, you need... In the game, anyway, it means that you run away from the flipping enemy instead of getting killed. Oh, well. Okay, we killed two Prinkapes, which is uh, not exactly worth it, but whatever. Right? You guys need to start sort of coming over in this direction, really. Start helping out the crew. Because I just don't think we can quite win just because those last two units, really. I mean, we can get some of these guys down with these um, missiles. Guys, you need to start moving. Yeah, that's it. Good, good, good. The Astarte are shaken. Do we risk it? No, we've still got some missiles. Just carry on, just carry on. When we run out of missiles, hopefully we'll be able to take them out in the melee. Especially if they break. If they break, then their their game and their life is over. And it means there'll basically be only one more strong unit to deal with, the, the Prinkapes. So the unit of Astarte is now wavering. They've gone down from shaken to wavering. We need them to break. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to slam into the back of them, see what we can do. Slamming them from all sides. They are, they've gone back to shaken. Typical Roman troops. Come on. From all sides. Wavering, broken, good. Okay, it was a good gamble. Paid off well. And we can get a solid amount of them down. It's now just getting that one unit of Prinkapes down. And we've pretty much done it. A very good victory, I would say. Uh, we've got a lot of them. Right, you guys have not run out of missiles. So carry on fighting those Prinkapes. Absolutely. 
They're marching over here. They might be retreating. Guys, right. Are all the Hastati down? Looks like it. Start coming over here. I want to get this unit of Prinkapes down. And then we're pretty much done. We've killed the majority of the troops. Unfortunately, the general got back, though. Which is to my great annoyance. If we killed the general, we, we might have Capua. But unfortunately, we didn't kill the general. So, that's kind of irrelevant. Guys, hit those Prinkapes, please. Right, they are eager. They're still eager. Roman troops, eh? Right. Still 52 of them left. And although we've got a lot of troops, they are not strong troops in the melee. By any means. I think they're retreating, in fact. I don't want them to get back, though. That is for sure. Okay, I think they broke. They just randomly broke. So, pause. In the melee, get them down. That's game over for the Skippy I think it's literally just only their general left, pretty much. A few units might have got back, but the majority of them are gone. We've done very well here. Very, very good victory indeed. And that's another captain down. Captain Asinius is down. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, should say end of battle. Now oh, there's one. Who's who's still left? Right, okay. Just get him down, lads. Come on. One Hastati. Get him down. Run. Oh, for goodness sake, lads. Come on. Get him down. Ridiculous. Yep, there he goes down. That should be the end. Yep, heroic victory. 1,051 kills. 75, 16, and 190 kills respectively for the three Scipii armies. Excellent. Really, really good stuff. I'm very happy with that. Now, this doesn't mean Capua is ours. And in fact, there is still a Roman army of Captain Caius over here. Now, we need to... I don't like losing the experience, but I don't also like having units that have 35 horse archers. It's kind of pointless. I'm going to merge them. I don't care about experience too much, to be honest. There we go. Lost a bit of experience. That's life. Um, that's fine. So Capua literally has... <laughs> Has, what, 14 men left? But this army is going to get there in time, which is very sad. So, unfortunately, we can't take Capua. And I think that means that, typically, that the, the Scipii army are going to be able to recover. And they might be able to defend Capua. I think we still have the advantage. Uh, we will we will see. Okay, but that's the situation with Capua. Uh, nice and good. Okay, so we have that sorted out. We have... Um, we have the situation over here. Uh, what else? We have, This army's moved as far as it can. Let's have a look at this region. This region's causing a bit of trouble. So, Segestica, well, that might be lost very soon. We have to wait for Waradsin to get over. So, what I think I'll do, I will recruit, end the turn, and we'll probably end the episode on that note, and we'll start... Um, from the next episode with probably defending some places and taking some more. Right, okay, let's end the turn and we'll see what happens. So, oh, immediately, um, we've been attacked. <laughs> we've been attacked by the Scipii outside of Capua. So, Madiez against Captain Caius. So, this army, which I mentioned a minute ago, some more ballistas, of course. But, honestly, not the strongest army I've ever seen. We should be able to deal with that. And Guy Sahash, 15 men. He's gained one. So he should be alright as well. Um, I think we've got a pretty good a good chance. If we can win that last battle, we can certainly win this one. And if we manage to kill Guy Sahash this time and annihilate the other army, then Capua should be ours. So, what I'll do, I will leave that for next episode. Uh, I've decided to make the episode slightly shorter. I had a bit of feedback and people said they prefer shorter episodes... We'll, we'll try it for a bit, and uh, we'll see. So, we'll, we'll have this, but another episode will be out very, very soon. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.